Kelly, I'd like to bring you into the conversation um, as our as our Christian voice here. I know that puts a lot of pressure on you. Um, but, uh, uh, <laughs> but it occurs to me that um, for many people watching or many people who might hear this term Christian nationalism, they may say, oh, well, I am a Christian. I'm an American. I, I'm a patriot. I love my country and I love my church. What's wrong with that? Am I a Christian nationalist? I wonder if you could express uh, to people who might have those thoughts, uh, what are the real risks to democracy posed by Christian nationalism and how does it stand distinct from simply being an American who, who, loves, uh, who loves their country and, and, and loves their faith? Yeah, thank you, uh, Peter, and thank you uh, both Danya and Wajat for your responses. They're very, very uh, comprehensive. Let, let me start here with saying and perhaps affirming uh, what has been said. And that is this, that this is not, this emergence quote unquote of Christian nationalism is not new, right? We, this is the legacy of the different side of the same coin that is white supremacy as has been said. And so what we are now calling Christian nationalism, there has always been this, if you will, sacred canopy placed over uh, this notion uh, that of American exceptionalism. And that's what we have to come to grips with here and be honest about. This nation was founded on a notion of American exceptionalism, which has always meant Protestant Anglo-Saxon exceptionalism read that whiteness. And there has always been a religious narrative that has sanctioned that. They go together. That's deeply in the roots, that is at the root of this nation's understanding of itself. Until we get to the root of that, we are going to continue to have, uh, we will continue this legacy. And so what we are calling Christian nationalism in terms of what erupted uh, at uh, Capitol Hill, it's not new. Uh, uh, it, it is a continuation of uh, the legacy that is white supremacy with its religious legitimation. We've seen this emerge. There's always been a religious legitimation for slavery, et cetera, et cetera, manifest destiny, all the things that have been said. 